Do you want to steal from God? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for September the 6th, 2020. According to St. Matthew, listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased two tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they were treated, and they treated them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is their, their hair. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, they threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now then, the owner of the vineyard, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretched to a miserable death, and lease the vineyard to other tenants, who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. So do you want to steal the property and even, even kill the Son of God? It is so easy to think that those wretched Jews that did that, and we are good. But the temptation prevails. Nowadays, there is a huge corporation worldwide, 1.3 billion people, that has its central headquarters in Rome. They basically do the same. They like to steal and rob from the Lord. Why am I saying this? And this is very difficult to say. Simply, simple. Let us remember the words of the Lord himself. For free you have received, you are to give for free. And so, if there is anyone who happens to be or portrays himself to be a priest of God, or one of those so-called by themselves pastors, shepherds, If any of us would like to charge you and demand you money for any of the services in the name of God, we are not from God. Let us remember that. When any of us would like to become the power, the authority, we see how this corporation in Rome have erected themselves as human and mundane power basically the highest hierarch in the world, to dominate everyone, to make money out of this. This is basically the same situation as the Pharisees and the high priests back then in the time of the Lord. And the ones that sprung from them, the ones with the, the pastors, with the mega churches or the, or the little churches that like to make money on that, they are following the same steps. Let us remember another passage of the gospel where the Lord says, Do not take money for your journey, because everything is going to be given to you. In every place, in any place that they receive you, eat what they put before you. You see? So if any one of us, even within the Orthodox Church, demands money from you for a mystery of God, He will never even give you anything, because we are not the owners but we are the tenants. We are just the slaves that are to be working for Christ to make Him present among you. That's all. We are not the owners of this. So if any one of us would like to start stealing from God, He immediately will be cut off. Do you understand that? If you do not like to be charged, but even more, If you do not like to be fooled by receiving nothing and being charged, 
then look for us. Look for the Orthodox Church all over the world and pray that Christ will be made present. I would like to thank everyone that freely so far has helped us in our mission. Now that we are building the uh, chapel, the definite chapel for our mission in Tijuana, in Mexico, thank you for everyone. There are at least three different ways down below that you can help us. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.